Hello, my name is Estefania Pacheco from the Wireless Technical Leadership Team. Today, we will be discussing the in-service software upgrade process on the 9800 wireless LAN controller and its compatibility version verification. Compatibility version verification. For ISSU, the compatibility between the running release and the target release must be verified. The running release of the wireless controller must be a long-lived release, being 17.3x, the first release version that supports ISSU. Long-lived releases are software releases intended to help you stay on a given release on a long-term basis. They can be identified as a specific set of releases that follow a pattern of occurring in multiples of three. For example, the long-lived release trains are 17.3, 17.6, 17.9, and 17.12. Some of the short-lived releases are 17.4, 17.5, 17.7, 8, and so on. That being said, ICSU is supported only within the same long-lived major release and between long-lived major release trains. ICSU is not supported between major releases, for example, from 16x to 17x, or within short-lived release versions, or between short-lived and long-lived releases, and not supported to or from escalation releases. Additionally, ICSU downgrade type is not supported for Cisco Catalyst 9800 controller with no exceptions. In summary, this is the ICSU compatibility matrix for the 9800 major release 17x. Here, x and y are the rebuild number. Note, this this matrix provides information on supported ICSU combinations for an upgrade. However, it does not replace the need to consider the upgrade path to the target release. Always review the target image release notes in order to ensure compatibility and other updates. And pay special attention to the upgrade path to Cisco IOS Access section as there are important considerations to take into account before proceed with the upgrade. And before you start the upgrade process, make sure to follow the pre-upgrade guidelines in advance to ensure your system is ready for ICSU. Please refer to the Cisco TAC video ICSU pre-upgrade readiness checklist on the 9800 wireless LAN controller for details. Upgrade process. Open the controller GUI and go to Administration, Software Management, Software Upgrade tab. From the transport type, choose your preferred method on how to download the software to the WLC and then check the ICSU upgrade checkbox. In the AP Upgrade Configuration section, from the AP Upgrade per iteration drop-down list, choose the percentage of APs to be upgraded in each iteration. You can enable the Client Steering checkbox to allow clients from candidate APs to be actively steered away using 802.11v packet with this association imminent field set to make sure we have seamless network connectivity as APs are being upgraded. Click Download and Install. This initiates the upgrade process and you can view the progress in the status dialog box on the right. Once it starts, the system will take control of all operation. You can click the show logs link to view the upgrade process details. The image is first added to the active and then to standby controller. After that, the AP image is pre-downloaded to all of the access points. This can be viewed in the AP upgrade statistics or by issuing the show AP image command at the WCCLI. Once the AP pre-download is completed, the system will activate the ICSU install process, which will run the system level compatibility checks. After finishing the sanity check, ICSU first starts the upgrade of secondary controller to the target version. Secondary will come back after a reload and sync back into HA. Then, it starts a primary controller upgrade to target release and its consecutive reload, meaning the secondary will take over. Once primary comes back, they will sync back into HA, and primary and secondary now have both the target software installed. The controller initiates the rolling AP upgrade automatically and begins the AP reboot process in a staggered fashion. Once the AP image upgrade is completed, the system enables the commit button and the auto terminate timer. It is important to click commit for the activation changes to be persistent across reloads. Note, if you do not commit, the system will roll back to the previous version automatically after the auto terminate timer expires, and this is set to 6 hours by default. Finally, verify your new controller software is activated and committed using the show install summary command under the command line interface. This ends the upgrade procedure. Remember you can access the Cisco video library for more useful short videos. Thanks for watching.